to spin the seams on a pinwheel. The first thing I like to do is lay out my half square triangles in order for the pinwheel, just so I can make sure everything's going the right direction. From there, I'll take my two pieces and flip them over and take to my sewing machine so I can sew these two seams right here. Once those seams are sewn, I'm going to press them in opposite directions. So I end up with two pieces that look like this, and if I flip them over, you can see that these seams are going opposite directions so that they'll nest together. So I will flip across here to sew this long seam, and my two seams I pressed different ways are going to nest with one another. Once I've sewn that together, I'm ready for the magic. I'm going to carefully pull this open a bit and slip my fingers inside this little flap of fabric right here. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to slip my fingers inside the little flap of fabric. What this allows me to do is pull and my seam comes right apart. All right, it only comes apart down to where I have that other line of stitching, but when I open this up, you can see that this is gonna make its own little pinwheel in the center with all my seams going a different direction. I'll give that a good press and I get a nice flat pinwheel block. And what spinning the seam has allowed me to do is make this center point nice and flat. It lays much nicer than it would if I had just pressed to one side. I can do exactly the same thing with our flying geese pinwheels. So here I have a flying geese pinwheel block and I have sewn it together the same way as I did my regular pinwheel and spun that seam in the center exactly the same way.